Now, we all know that guacamole is like stupid good. Like dance to your own imaginary mariachi music good. But there are so many different recipe variations for guacamole, you never know what to do and you're just like but truthfully, all you need are these five ingredients to make the best guacamole ever. You just have to make sure that these ingredients are fresh and that you season it perfectly. Lucky for you guys, I'm gonna make a batch right now. For 10 servings of guacamole, here are the five ingredients you will need. Two avocados, one fourth cup lime juice, about four cups of water, two teaspoons kosher salt, and one small white onion. <laughs> Weren't those ingredients beautifully shot? <laughs> Who's the camera guy? Some people like tomatoes in their guacamole, or garlic, or spicy things, or even sugar. But I say start simple with this recipe and build from there to create your own type of guacamole recipe that you will use forevermore. To actually make the guacamole, the first thing you have to do is small dice your white onion. Next, put it into a separate container and fill it with cold water. Let these onions soak for at least 20 minutes. This will soften the onion's texture and make them less pungent. While the onions are soaking, move on to your other steps. To remove the avocado flesh, cut lengthwise around the avocado. Twist it open, stab the pit with your knife, and twist again to pop it out. Grab a clean mixing bowl, and using a spoon, scoop out the avocado flesh into the bowl. Start to mash the avocado until it becomes a softer texture. Next, add plenty of salt and your lime juice. Mix it all to combine. If 20 minutes has gone by, strain your onions and add them to your mashed avocado. Stir it up. Then take a taste test. This is where you do some adjusting to fit your taste. I felt like I needed to add just a tad more of salt and lime juice. And if it all tastes delicious, you're good to go. And that's how you make incredible, simple guacamole. Wow, that was so easy. No need to buy that packaged crap. You just learned how to make the best guacamole recipe in the entire world. According to my Mexican friend Pancho that I worked with in a restaurant in Seattle. See, you have no excuse. You should always make your own guacamole fresh at home. <laughs> This is great guacamole, you guys. If you like to add extra spices or extra ingredients, go right ahead. It's up to you. I don't judge. Maybe a little bit. It's like I always say, when it comes to guacamole or sexual stuff, you just do you, okay? Hasta luego. Well, now the video is done, but don't be sad. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. In the comments down below, tell me your favorite little ingredients to add into guacamole that makes it special for you. And while you're down there, leave me an idea for what you want to see in the future. I'll see you guys next video. According to my Mexican friend Pancho that I worked with in Seattle.